Hi there everyone, it's Misty here from The Joy Fit Elf. Welcome to my new series that I'm calling The Small Stamp Shop Spotlight. So the goal of this series is to spotlight smaller craft companies, um, stamp companies, um, to get them out there. I wanna share these smaller companies with you. Um, I'm still gonna use things from other companies um, like Doodle Wug, I've already pre-ordered their, <laughs> their Easter stuff. So it's not like I'm gonna give up, you know, the more larger brands, but I really wanna take a moment to spotlight these smaller brands who are putting out adorable, beautiful images, and they're not necessarily mainstream. You don't see a lot of the bigger YouTubers using them. Um, I would like to really focus on smaller stamp shops that aren't like on Amazon or on Simmons and Stamp, etc. Um, some that are pretty indie, and this is where I need your help. Um, thanks, I think it's Amber. Amber, 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 I think it was Amber, who mentioned today's shop to me. And I reached out to the owner and said, hey, I would really, you know, I'm gonna be placing an order. Can I spotlight you on my channel? And she graciously said, yes, I'm so excited for that. So like I said, the goal of this series is to find smaller stamp shops like this one, which is Penguin Palace, or like Papery Ink, which is still pretty small. Hello Bluebird, I think is getting a little bit bigger because again, you can find them at Simon Says Stamp. I really wanna focus on smaller stamps, you know, stamp companies that you don't necessarily find, again, mainstream. I have Craft and Kimmy on my list. Of course, I'm gonna do Anthony's and Scrappy Tells because again, I'm on their design teams and I wanna spotlight them as well. So I need your help. I need you to leave any other stamp companies that you can think of in the comments down below. So what we're gonna do, let's first, let's roll my new intro. Okay, so how these videos are gonna work is I am going to introduce the stamp company to you. And then I am, while I am creating a project with the stamps from the stamp company, I'm gonna tell, tell, I'm gonna tell, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you more and share more about the owner, um, about their designs, about how they got started, those kinds of things. So I really want to share all the info with you guys and the, Luckily, this Sharon, who is the owner of Penguin Palace, has offered a $20 gift certificate to um, a giveaway for this video. This is open internationally. I can't remember if she ships internationally, but if she doesn't, you guys can let me know um, what it, you want and I can buy it and then ship it to you. Um, it is open internationally. All you have to do is leave a comment answering the question of the day. Um, which you will hear later in the video. So yeah, so I am so excited. Um, I don't, I, <laughs> you guys know I lean a little bit more whimsy and cute and fun, but I really don't wanna limit myself and I don't wanna limit the stamp shops that I reach out to. So again, leave everybody down below. Um, I know uh, several people have mentioned the stamps of life. For me, they're still a little bit bigger. I'm thinking like really, really small. Um, so yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. I will have all of their social media linked down below and make sure you go check out their YouTube channel. So good. She created this host and system. We'll get, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. I promise. So, all right, let's head over to my craft table and we will get started. Okay, friends, I'm going to walk you through what I picked up from Penguin Palace. I haven't even, like, I've just opened this. It, I've set it aside so I can film this video. I've had it for probably a month now. So I'm excited to show you guys what I got. Came wrapped in this really pretty um, tissue paper with one of their, or sticker of their logo. I haven't even looked at the thing you know or anything. Like, comes with the sticker, that's fun. Oh, that's, she said that's a small gift to me, so that's cool. Okay, so I didn't pick up a whole lot of dies, but I did get this one. This is called Sending Kisses Your Way, and it's a little hedgehog, oh my god, hedgehog. I miss you, XOXOZ. You are always in my heart, sending heart, love, kisses, and hedgehogs your way. Um, I miss you even in my sleep. You've got a little speech bubble, you've got the hearts, and a little hedgehog. 
And then I picked up the coordinating die set. So it comes with the head chug, the heart, and the um, speech bubble. Aren't those just the cutest? My camera hates um, plastic packaging, so <laughs> I apologize. The next one I picked up is, these are the three by six, I believe. Yeah, so these are actually made in the USA, but she's in Canada. So this is an amazing friend, and I believe it's $75 and it ships for free to the US. So you are an amazing friend. You're like my twin sister or brother. Um, someone I love was born today. Happy birthday and a little gift. So cute. Hopefully you guys can see that. Sorry, I'm not even paying attention to the camera. This one is called a Summer Sunshine. Isn't this just like, this is like my style down to a T. <laughs> so you get a girl holding a floaty, you got a cat in the chair, um, you got a girl eating some watermelon, you got a cat eating some ice cream, you got some sand, you got, you know, you can make a little scene here. So summer sees the day, sun kissed, you got the sun, you got a little cloud, you get a little cup, a little slice of watermelon, a little clam, so basically everything you need to build a little summer scene. We'll definitely get used out of this one coming soon. This, <laughs> this one is the more we get together and it's basically cats. I think there's supposed, there's like, there's a seal. Um, anyway, so this is really, really cute. So you could build like an aquarium. So you have my seal of approval, approval want to cuddle. Uh, you blow meow away. So you got some seaweed, you got a little um, enclosure. You've got a cat blowfish, I'm thinking. <laughs> You've got an octopus, a starfish, some um, coral, like the little iceberg. You've got the um, seal, and I guess these are cuttlefish. I'm, I'm not familiar, but super cute. This one is Be Happy. And I thought this was really cute too. I love the little honey. Love the little tree. It says, well soon, be positive with lots of love and sweetness. You've got mail, be my Valentine, happy birthday. You're my honeybee, don't worry, be happy. You get two bees, a honey pot that looks like a leaf. I'm not, I think this is to hang the honey pot. I'm actually not sure what that is. A sunflower, a heart trail. You've got a little heart, you've got a Valentine. I think this is supposed to be honey. <laughs> you got a, um, what is this called? Beehive, so really, really cute. And then last but not least is, there's no one like you. So we're a matcha made in heaven. You are the froth <laughs> to my cappuccino. Without you, something is missing. You always have your best teas to lean on. You are the bubble to my cola. You've been the, be you've been the best friend in the world and then you've got a little set of faces here to make them kawaii is that how you pronounce that and then you've got a soda you've got a cup of soda you've got chips with the um bow and arrow that's hilarious you get some coffee beans you get some whip and a coffee cup you get a teapot you get a cup with tea bags and then you get this i'm guessing this is the matcha made in heaven they're on clouds get some steam, you get some bubbles, you get some hearts, and it's really, really cute. Now that you see what I ordered, let's check out their website. You're gonna go to ppstamps.com, and you can see there on the left-hand side, there is a currency converter. You're gonna wanna do that if you're not in Canada. Um, I didn't do this until later in the video, so you're gonna see prices that look a little steep, but when you do the currency converter, it's not expensive whatsoever. So this, is so amazing she created this she's trademarked it um, this is called stencil 360 and it's basically a system where you can turn these little circles stencils and you can go all the way around and create an entire circle you can see here that they created a wreath and were able to stamp the elements in different colors i think it's absolutely awesome 
it's just ingenious and it's something that we've never seen before. I'll be sure to link the video where she goes through and she explains about this specifically so you guys can see just how awesome it is. It may seem a little pricey for the beginner kit, but you get everything that you need and then you can buy the stencils separately. So really fun, really innovative and something that we, I know for sure, I haven't seen before. What drew me to the stamps, <clears throat> other than the recommendation, is, again, her stamps aren't something that you see. Like, she has a food truck stamp that we've never seen before. She has this one that's kind of matcha and tea flavored that we haven't really seen before. She has one I'm going to show you in a little bit that's like a dance floor. So her designs are innovative. They're something that we haven't seen before. They're very unique. They're cute. They're fun. So just a really, like seriously, a really great company. And I hope that this video gives them the um, attention that they deserve because I really think that more people should be aware of who this stamp set is, stamp company is. So Sharon, I asked Sharon to share with me kind of how she got started as I show you the rest of the website. She was actually a structural engineer and was in construction for 20 years. Can you believe that? That's amazing. So she wanted to, she had been crafting and she wanted to stay home with her son while she was, you know, when she was pregnant and after he was born. So she decided um, to leave her job and rediscover her love for doodling and Penguin Palace was created in 2018. So they've only been around almost four years. Look at this one. Look at that. That's so different. I love it. So, so cute. Anyway, sorry. So she's continued that. She's continued to stay home. She is a one-woman machine. She designs. She takes orders. She ships. So I just think that's amazing. And she mentioned that, you know, trying to balance being a mother, being at home, trying to be a startup business, all of those things can be really difficult. And um, I think being around this long is a testament to just how cute her designs are and how tenacious she is. Um, and I really admire that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I love this home set die. Isn't that awesome? Like the samples are so, so good. Her design team is very, very, very talented. I really, really love all the, I mean, I, it was really hard for me. I had about an $80 budget. <laughs> if I didn't, I probably would have bought one of everything because I was just so amazed at the quality at the cuteness. It's just, it's just so cute. Her designs are just so cute. These are two of the dies I really wish I was able to pick up. Um, I just love, I just love this one. I mean, you get the um, butterflies, but you also get the hearts. It's just so, so cute. I love this little baby. Oh my gosh, so adorable. So just fun, like I said, innovative, just good quality. They're made in the USA, so she gets some from the U.S. and has them shipped to Canada. Um, she's got really great paper, really great embellishments. So she has a lot that you can really um, look at and decide what you want. Your question of the day is, what's your favorite stamp set from the stamp set. So you need to go to the, to, to the address and you need to find the stamp set and come back and comment that. And that'll be how you enter her giveaway. You'll get an extra entry if you go follow her on Instagram and then come back and tell me that you followed in a separate comment. If you subscribe to their YouTube channel, go subscribe, come back and tell me in a separate YouTube comment. Um, I will check, um, have her check to make sure that you've done that. And yeah, we'll go, well, I'll choose a winner. It'll probably be a week from today. So this is going up on Friday, March the 5th. So I'll choose somebody in next week on, is that the 12th? I think that's the 12th. So yeah, so this is a look at their Instagram. So much inspiration. I love it so, so much. Same thing with their Pinterest. I mean, just so, so good. Um, lots of inspiration, just Again, I just am so 
amazed at the level of talent of her design team, at the level of care in the designs. Um, again, I love that they're new and it's not a lot of regurgitated what we've seen before. And there's nothing against having mermaids. I mean, listen to me. I have 18 otter stamps and 92 sloth stamps. I get it. I do. <laughs> we all love what we love. But at the same time, it's fun to see something new, fun to see something different. And I really think this is a stamp company that... Um, you're going to want to buy from and we'll and I will definitely spotlight her new release I will probably put aside a little bit of money to purchase from the new release so that will definitely be coming soon so yeah I hope you guys will give them a try um if you do and you are in you know in my Facebook group post it in our Facebook group so we can see if you're on the Facebook page post it on the Facebook page you can find all of those links in my description box so I initially was going to use the hedgehog I kept calling it hedgehog hedgehog. <laughs> but um, I decided I wanted to make a birthday card because I am completely out of birthday cards in my Etsy shop. I'm completely out of birthday cards in my own stash. So we're going to make a birthday card. I'm using this paper from Simple Stories just because it has a unicorn and I thought, okay, how perfect is that? So I've picked three different patterns and you guys know when I say that you're picking patterns, you want a large one, you want a medium one, and then you want one that looks more like um, a neutral. So for my larger pattern, I have the cake for the medium pattern. I have the one that has the balloons and the hats and then not neutral, solid. And for the more solid looking one, um, it's hard to see from here, but those are actually balloons. So pink balloons, um, white balloons on a pink background. I stamped that with my um, ink and then I'm just cleaning it to put it away. And then we're going to bring in some circle dies. I believe these circle dies are from Simon's Stamp. I'm going to go ahead and cut out the um, image with a smaller. And then I'm going to bring in a larger one to cut out the um, balloons. I am so happy I was able to do this because my plate, one of my plates is completely broken. Like completely broken in half. <laughs> I think it's hanging on by like one little piece and I was like, oh, please just let me make a card. Hopefully the new plates will come today, but we'll see. I'm going to be doing some Copic coloring, but first we're going to go ahead and put the card base together um, and get that out of the way. That way when I'm done, I can just go ahead and put the image on and call it a day. So I'm going to be using a piece of aqua cardstock. This is actually Pool Party from Stampin' Up. You guys know that... Um, I am working through my Stampin' Up! card stocks. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11. I've scored it at five and a half. I'm cutting down a piece of white to four by five and a quarter. I'm cutting down this piece of cake to four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I'm gonna bring in a piece of Highland Heather and cut that down to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. I'm gonna cut down the um, other pattern to two and an eighth by five and a quarter. And then um, we're going to get all of this adhered. Isn't this a fun paper pack? Oh my word. I need to look to see if they still have it in stock because I've actually used quite a bit of this. So I'm going to get all of this adhered with some tape runner. I'm using some ribbon. I just got this ribbon off Amazon. It was like a coral, coral, there came a, a coral, a turquoise, and this purple, which as you guys know, those are my crafting colors. <laughs> And I bought this specifically to make bows. So I made bows on my card holders and yeah, I love it. This is probably one of my most favorite um, sketches, so to speak. Like I, I, I love this layout. Like it's one of my most favorite. If you guys go back and look at my, if I'm using pattern paper and pattern paper is a huge focus of the card, this is one of my favorites because you get three patterns out of it, but you also have plenty of space to showcase a stamped image. And that, again, that's what we're doing today. So I am pulling in colors that match the paper and I will be writing these down for you and you'll get to see those in just a second but again this is exactly my process for when I'm creating I bring in this hex chart from Sandy Alnock and um, I printed mine at full sheet onto my Copic paper <clears throat> so um, 
I can't remember what size it is when you open it, but you'll need to, when you um, print, do fit the page, and that should make it big enough that it's this size. I haven't printed the grays yet. I need to do that since I own all of the grays now, but I haven't gotten a chance to do that. So there are the colors we're using. I'm not coloring the unicorns white, and the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm leaving the background white, and I don't want them to blend in. So I'm using E00, and then I think I bring in E21, and I'm not doing very much shading. Like, the only place I'm shading is on the unicorn. The other ones are just getting one solid color. Um, it's a little, it's too small to try to do any really fancy blending, so um, you're not going to see that. And then I was like, I don't really like the no the color of the sn snout. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. So I brought in a different color. <laughs> and that's the great thing about Copics or any kind of alcohol markers in general is that you can layer. Now I have some that I bought um, for Elfmas prizes um, that I will work with, with, with you guys in a video coming soon. And I'll let you know what their quality is. There are a lot of companies now that have alcohol markers. You do not have to invest in Copics unless you want to. Um, it's they're, they're the ones that I'm most familiar with now. I mean, I started with Spectrum Noir. Um, I like that they're refillable. I like that they have a brush tip, but they are pretty spendy. I get mine from um, scrapbook.com, not scrapbook.com, scrapbookpal.com, and they are fairly inexpensive. They're one of the most inexpensive prices on the web. Um, I think them and Dick Blick are pretty pretty similar, but um, with Scrapbook Pal, they ship, she ships so quickly, and you guys know I'm on their design team, but I I was purchasing from them before I even knew that they had a design team call. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to be, like I said, no, just simple, easy coloring, kind of alternating on the mane and the tail, alternating on the cake, and um, just enjoying doing some simple coloring. I could have totally done this with my Crayola Super Tips too. You could have done this with Crayola markers. You could have done this with colored pencils. You guys know that I'm an advocate for using what you have. Don't, you know, don't feel like you have to buy brand new supplies just to make this card. Um, I encourage you to get stamps at because it's cute and I want to support them. But as far as your like paper, use what's in your stash. Coloring, use what's in your stash. If you don't have any colors, that's cool too. You don't have to color this image for it to be cute. You could totally do some paper piecing. You could emboss it. Um on like white cardstock or something, and not white cardstock, colored cardstock, that would be fun too. I'm gonna bring in a B11 marker, and like I said, I'm not gonna um, be going um, in, like making a background, so I decided to just outline the images with this blue marker. Added a little um, yellow to the candle, and then I'm gonna bring in my big roll of Scotch adhesive, and I'm going to go ahead and get this adhered. I'm popping up both. The good thing about this adhesive is it doesn't make it too tall. But if you were going to, like, if you bought this from me and you were going to ship it or, like, send it, you would probably want to put um, an extra piece of postage on it or have it hand canceled um, because it does have a bow. The bow does lay pretty flat, but it's still a little bit raised. Um, and if you're making this at home and you're going to send it, you can always just, you know, put a piece of cardstock on the front of it and send it that way. I'm using tearing tape. I used to use glue dots, but I really love using this kind of tearing tape, score tape, I think it's also called, um, from some places. I feel like the bow sticks better. When I use this rather than trying to use um, glue dots, I find with glue dots, they still pop off. It's been a hundred years since I tied a bow. So I struggled. I struggled a little bit. <laughs> struggled a little bit. It really has been a long time since I tied a bow. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get that adhered and then I'm going to trim down the edges. So this is a new pair of the Tim Holtz scissors. If you've never bought a, bought a pair of those scissors, buy them. They are amazing. They are, they don't get sticky. They can cut through wire. Like I have a pair now that is specifically for cutting die cuts. 
um, apart, and then this pair that I'm trying to use for paper and ribbon. They stay sharp. You can always, if you have a Joann's nearby, you can always take your scissors to get them sharpened. I don't know if it's more expensive than just buying a complete nude pair, but it is um, less wasteful. So I wasn't going to put a sentiment on it, and then I felt like I wanted one. And the sentiment, sentiment is someone I love was born on this day. I believe that's what it says. Yeah. And I went ahead and did some heat embossing with that. So I used a static anti-static tool to remove the static. Then I stamped with first mark ink, added some white embossing powder, and now I'm heating that with my heat tool. Then I'm going to cut it out with a small stitched rectangle. Um, since the die cuts are stitched, I, I felt like this needed to be stitched as well. I did not do that to the layers, but again, I broken plates. <laughs> I was really trying not to push my luck. So when I get those put away, I'm going to go ahead and pop this up as well. I'm just going to use some adhesive. These are from um, Scrapbook Adhesive. Yeah. And then you can see me there. I was putting on Emily D. Baker. If you've never watched her, she's a lawyer commentary, commentary channel here on the YouTubes. She is fantastic. She's hilarious. She's my age. Um, she breaks down the law. And even if you don't give any flips about the law it's she does it covers pop culture and youtube stuff it's very very interesting so after i color the hooves and add some nouveau i'm going to be done i wasn't sure if it added enough i think this pen is getting dried but that's the card so thank you so much for watching and huge thank you again to sharon from Penguin palace to allow me to spotlight her shop make sure you follow her on social media um let me know down below what your favorite stamp is from the shop. Get those extra entries if you want them, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.